every year there is the issue of accommodation here at the University of Ghana as freshers come into the school to get their uh, applications. Now, the problem is that every time the portal is opened, uh, these students are supposed to get onto the portal to get their halls and every other registration done properly before getting into the school proper. But we've seen a number of freshers today come into the University of Ghana to do these registrations and also to get their halls uh, done manually. What are you here to do? I came to assist my friend okay. to apply okay. to get a hall. He applied and he didn't get a hall, so we're here to work it in person. Okay, which hall is he going to? Common World. Okay, and you applied. Did you visit the portal? Or yes, and yesterday, I'm sure it was because of traffic. Many people logged onto the site and they were not able to even open it at all. This was around what time? Because I understand it was open at 9. Yes, it was open around 9. And what time did you get on? Around 9, we tried logging in, but it didn't open. Let me engage one. So you are coming into Commonwealth? Yeah. I'm sure you must have been frustrated already. Yeah, because I haven't gotten a hole yet. And I'm coming from Western Region too. Oh. So when I'm 9th floor, so I don't have any place to sleep. And you've been trying this, so that's why you came in today too. Yeah. Get it done, so when you came, have you been attended to? No. And no one is saying anything to you? They are all saying that the rooms are full and other stuff. So what are you going to do now? What's your next move? I don't even know. I'm even frustrated. Hmm. You were on the portal yesterday? Yeah. So what time did you join and what happened? I joined exactly nine. And when I entered, just like my phone freeze or... I think it's their connection, mm. yeah. So I didn't get to book a room. Yeah. Okay. So what about you? Mm, I'll say Rex for the same, the same problem he was having. Okay, so you were not also able to get home? I want to, yeah. I was so what are you going to do right now? Now we are stranded. We are moving from halls to halls. Everywhere is full and we don't know what to do. All right, so I'll also engage one of the freshers who is seated here, right in front of the Commonwealth Hall. Can you tell us why he's here? I, I had come out hall, uh -huh. yeah. You had it? I had it. Yes, I'm now coming to apply for it. Oh, okay. So if you had it, why do you need to apply again? Oh, no, I just came here to pay some few things and the dues and whatever so that I can get to the room. Okay, so since you got the hall, it means that you were very quick to get yeah, onto the oh, I was very quick, yeah. At what time did you log? Around exactly 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? Yeah. Wow, I see. That's some James Bond timing. Is it what? Uh, That's some James Bond timing because to get on exactly at nine and then I was yeah. very like I was very lucky because if you had a problem logging into the portal bar mm -hmm. with God all things are possible so I was very quick and had it. Parents of these wards who have come all the way from other regions just to get the halls have also been frustrated. I'm seeing this lady here. I'll I'll just speak to her. Hey, well, Eastern region. Yeah, but I say host registration for hall. I no pan here by and was still what time be? Maybe seven something. Seven. Six to seven. Anopa. Anopa. And twelve o'clock. Still here. You know, baby, could I am? No, Obi, Obi, the worker, sir. Obi, I ni enka sir. We must move in a jina doors and doors so you are close. We see him far away, mla. What day? Let him mla. Let's have a man. Say, I'm not a I'm not a man. 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 I'm not a a man. So these are the frustrations of these freshmen uh, who are trooping into the University of Ghana to have uh, their registration for accommodation done manually here on campus. We'll speak to the Pro Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Gordon Awandari, who would give us answers to some critical questions we've been asking. Well, um, it's, it's mathematics, it's numbers, you know. Um, it's, it's almost like you are balloting. It's like a lottery, <laughs> you understand? Because think about it. So yesterday, we probably had about 16,000 or a little less students 
trying to get about 1,500 beds that were made available for first years. Oh, it was open yesterday? Yes, it was open yesterday at 9 o'clock. But within six minutes, all the beds were gone. Uh, because it just takes a click. Every click is one bed gone. You understand? And if you have 16,000 students all trying to get a bed, it only takes a few seconds for all the beds to be gone. Because everybody who gets through, one bed is gone. And it doesn't take long for the 1,000... 500 beds to go because it's electronic. It's a, it's a split second thing. So it's not, there's no magic here. It is shortage of beds. That's the reality. Is there anything like protocols going on here? Well, so what happens is that normally the halls reserve some rooms to give to their athletes. You know, they try to, some, some give student athletes, in order to attract student athletes, they give some of them accommodation. They give uh, students with special needs, so you know people with uh, visual impairment or any physical disability. They prioritize them to give them spaces. Professor Gordon Awandari has also been telling us that despite the challenges that is uh, with regards to the portal registration, frantic efforts are being made to address the issue. So there are many, many um, initiatives that we've uh, started in order to address this challenge. But as you know, it's going to take time for uh, this to, to materialize. You know, you can't build a hostel in one year. <laughs> so, you know, so we, you know, there are several new uh, hostel projects that are just starting. So the buildings are about to start. So it's going to take a couple of years for them to be ready. Uh, we have one uncompleted hostel, which we're working to, to, to finish, hopefully, by next academic year, that should bring in about 800 to 1,000 more beds for students. And we are also leave, leasing our lands to private investors to build hostels on campus. We just want to assure them that we understand the frustrations. Um, yesterday, I had calls from all over of you know different parents and uh, students, and some lining up in my office. And it will, you know, it's it's really sad that we we cannot be of better assistance to them at this time. So freshmen coming into the University of Ghana have from now to Sunday to complete all registering processes. With all these uh, registration frustration that is ongoing, the university management is assuring of addressing all matters amicably. Reporting for City News, Akusia Autry.